Hello, Harry Potter fans. Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. Today, we are opening up the third lesson box. So this is the third box in the Wizarding Trunks lesson series. So each box, they feature a well-known lesson and one or two lesser known lessons. So we get to see a lesson that we love and know about, but also learn about some of the things that we may not know too much about. So I am very excited to see what is inside the third lesson box. Now, we know that each of these lesson boxes features one of those book covers by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. The previous two have been absolutely beautiful. I will show them to you later on in this video. And I do want to mention one thing. The Wizarding Trunk has informed me that the book covers from box one and two are available separately on their website. So if you missed out on those first two book covers, check the description down below for a link to the Wizarding Trunk website. They have done a limited restock of this entire box. So if you see this box and you're like, oh, I wish I had purchased that one, it's not too late. There are still a few left on their website and those boxes will include the third lesson box book cover. Let's take a look at the box. So we have the Owlery. The Wizarding Trunk presents the Owlery. Here are some of the owls within the Owlery. Fragile or fragile magical delivery. Fragile means a fragile magical item. All right, let's pop this baby open. As usual, you get first glance. Dun, 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 dun. On the inside, it says buy monthly subscription. So if you do their main subscription service, this is the box you'll receive every two months. They have also started a special edition subscription. That's separate from this one. I know what the theme is for their next special edition box. I will tell you at the end of the video. All right, the first item is in this green pouch and it's kind of heavy. It's like stuffed in here. Oh, maybe a candle perhaps or a potion. It's a potion. Okay, so I am in the process of reading Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix or listening to it on audiobook. <laughs> and this is too funny. Tree lice. This is what you distract a bow truckle with when you're trying to access the tree that they are infesting or protecting. And bow truckles oh. usually guard wand trees. So trees where you use the wood for wands, they can be quite fierce in protecting their tree. And this is what you tempt them with. Tree lice. Very, very clever. And and so fun that I literally just listened to this chapter a few days ago. The label says tree lice look like grains of brown rice and generally are found in a tree with wood that would be exceptional for wand making. On the top of this jar is a wax seal with a tree on it and it's just a basic mini mason jar. The label has a little image of a tree lice and the inside is just white rice but it does look very cool. It looks like little tree lice. So as I'm going along, if you don't know the theme, the main theme at least, guess along and leave a comment down below when you've got it. All right, the next item is... Oh, I don't know what these are called, but these are like scent things. <laughs> you stick the, the wood inside of the oil and then it smells nice in your house. And it's called humanitarian. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of like a mad gab. Humanitarian, humanitarian. A person disposed to making the lives of others enriched, either professor or teacher. Okay, I'm not sure what this would represent. Let's open it up and give it a smell. So the scent is lemon vanilla, absolute reed diffuser exclusive for the wizarding trunk by Alchemy for the skin. All right, let's open it up. Wait, what does this smell like? This smells like animal crackers. This smells just like animal crackers. You know how animal crackers have that like vanilla lemon sort of smell to them? That's exactly what this is. I love animal crackers, I could drink this. So I'm gonna stick the sticks into this oil here. And as I film the video, we'll see how well the scent starts to infuse the Potter Collector Library. It may take a little while. We have a pin, I've pulled out a pin, and ooh, it's like a, one of those slider pins. Um, all right, let's see. So the pin shows the Forbidden Forest, and when you slide it, it reveals the inside of the Forbidden Forest, and there is a hippogriff, acromantula, werewolf, and a thestral on it. Very cool, Wizarding Trunk exclusive pin. I love when pins are interactive like this, and the Wizarding Trunk has done a few of these, and this one is very awesome. Any ideas about the theme? All right, there's a big box in here, a big box for Ron, and inside is 
Why is she eating slug repellent? Oh my gosh, this is absolutely fantastic. The wizarding trunk, you guys are just killing it with these bottles and potions. This is super cool. I never would have thought that I wanted something like this. Now that I've seen it, I want something like this. The bottle itself is green, which is appropriate because slugs are green and you want to repel them from your green leaves or crops. The label is very simple and it was made by Pure Blood Apothecary. And you could fill this up with water or a cleaning solution or some sort of organic pesticide and spray it on your garden <laughs> and use it actually use it or just display it which is what I'm gonna do I'm starting to smell that oil and this room smells like animal crackers Warner Brothers should come out with fantastic beast crackers different fantastic beasts and they're crackers okay what is this it's beautiful you guys know I love thestrals I have no idea what this is but it is a metal Thestral. What could this be used for? I, like, I have no idea what this is. I, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. But there's no stand. There's no hook. I love hippogriffs and thestrals. And this just screams thestral. There's a fence in the background showing that it's probably inside of its pen. You also learn about thestrals in Order of the Phoenix. This is like the perfect box because a lot of these items are featured for the first time in Order of the Phoenix. Really, really nice. Uh, we'll find out with the spoiler sheet what this is, but whatever it is, I love it. All right, this is the book cover, which we're not going to open yet. We're gonna save this for last, but there's a little red pouch. And I still have no idea what the other two themes or other theme is going to be for this box. Okay, it's a little die, maybe arithmacy? So it's a die and it's in a really cool shape too. I wonder if this would actually work. Yeah, it totally works. So it has all numbers from zero to nine and it's a really beautiful item. I don't know where I would put this or if I would use it, but it's really heavy and the detail on this is fantastic. The borders and numbers are a brass color and then the number boxes or triangles in this case are a darker brass color, which just makes the numbers pop. This is a really nice product. Again, I don't know what I would do with it, but it's very well made and is some seriously heavy metal. All right, what's this? We've got two art prints and it looks like they're five by seven. Oh, cool. I just spotted another one of the items. That is awesome. But let's take a look at these first. Made by Twillings and Taddings. And these are little doodles of magical creatures. Okay, do you have the theme now? It's Care of Magical Creatures. That's the main lesson for this box. But we have an Akami and a Blast Ended Scroot. And what this looks like is also in Order of the Phoenix. During the Care of Magical Creatures class, these students were required to do a anatomically correct drawing of a bow truckle. So so this is similar during the Akami or Blast and Scroot lesson. They may have been required to do a doodle and talk about the different parts of these magical creatures. So that's what this looks like to me and they're fantastic. So this guy is a carnivore, eats rats, bugs, birds, monkeys, cats, and rabbits. Those are some big animals that this guy eats. And then very aggressive, especially in adulthood for the Scroot. And females have blood sucking ability. So stay away from the Scroots and maybe keep your pets away from the Akami. All right, we have another little bag. I mean, look at all these items. That's a ton of items in these boxes. All right, this little bag is gold, and inside looks like a coin of sorts. It is a galleon, and it doesn't look like it's one of those Dumbledore's army galleons. On the back is a leprechaun with a pot of gold. So this must be leprechaun gold, which eventually vanishes. So you think you have like buckets of galleons, but it disappears. So what would this be tied to. Hmm. We will find out. Oh, arithmetic. Look at this. Okay, so there's. Oh, wait, what is this? All right, hold on. This had to have been designed by Danny at Wizardry Workshop because this this has Danny written all over it. Look at all of that foiling. Arithmacy. It's like a little pamphlet or like cheat sheet, actually. So arithmacy, the magic of numbers. I'll take a photo of this and you can pause the video and read this in its entirety. But let's take a look at part of it. So number one represents the sun, two, the moon, three, Jupiter, four is Herschel, five, Mercury, six, Venus, seven, Neptune, eight, Saturn, and nine, Mars. Mars. I'll probably learn a lot about arithmetic when I read this. Beautiful item. Danny and the Wizarding Trunk have just come out with some fantastic paper products that look great when you display them. I have some of them displayed up top, but this is an additional very cool, beautifully made, beautifully designed product by the Wizarding Trunk and Danny. All right, three items left. This is what I was freaking out about. 
It's a leather bound, well it's faux leather, but a leather bound journal. And look at the initials, RH, Rubius Hagrid. So this is Hagrid's journal, or you know, maybe it's his lesson planning journal. The sides have been gold gilded. The bookmark has a key on, oh, what is this? Looks like a seahorse. So the key is a seahorse, but it also doubles as a bookmark. And then there's another little dangling metal piece on here. If, if this key, this beautiful key wasn't enough, the wizarding trunk has added an owl charm just for decoration. Maybe someone gave this to him as a gift and you would find it on his shelf inside of his hut. The stitching on the spine is cool. This definitely looks like something Hagrid would have. All right, we have one more, oh, it's wood, a wood print of a Niffler. Look at this, and he's actually holding some leprechaun gold. He's gonna be disappointed later when that disappears, as well as some jewels and pearls. So it looks like it's printed on to this very thin piece of wood. Here's the back, which shows it is a little slice of wood, and the front again, very beautiful artwork too. I wonder who did this artwork. All right, here is the cheat sheet, but before we get to the cheat sheet, we have to get to this. So let's see, oh, there's some animals on here. I think it's gonna be magical creatures. Ooh. I was expecting gold foil. It's blue foil. Magical creatures A to Z, an introduction to otherworldly beasts. Look at that shiny, sparkly foiling. Absolutely stunning. I was not expecting a different colored foil. All right, so the books that these covers fit are the American First Editions. So the ones that feature this cover artwork, the Mary Grand Prix cover artwork. And for each box that's released, it's going to fit one of the seven Harry Potter books. So from the first box, we have Ancient Runes, the Ancient Runes textbook. And the second box fits the Chamber of Secrets book, and that was Transfiguration. Are they stunning? These are the two covers that the Wizarding Trunk currently has available separate from a box, so you can purchase these individually. This new Magical Creatures cover can only be purchased right now in their third lesson box restock, which is what we just opened. So you'll get all of these items here as well as this cover. So this one, since it's the third box, it fits the third book. So we're gonna take off this dust jacket and I will show you how to put these on if you do not know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this flat or as flat as we can. We're going to place the spine of this book, the spine of the cover, make some adjustments, make sure it lines up, and then you're gonna open up one of the covers and fold the flap inside. And you can also see on the dust jacket itself where you know it's supposed to be folded. Don't make a crease yet, because you're gonna have to make some adjustments. Then we're gonna flip it over, and then fold in the other end. Check your spine, make sure it lines up nicely, and then you're safe to make the crease. And there you have it. You just turned Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban into a magical creatures textbook with blue foiling. So on the front cover, the giant squid perhaps, looks like a phoenix and a dragon. And then on the back cover, there are some symbols as well as some tentacles from that squid or octopus like creature that is featured on here. So this is a Danny from Wizardry Workshop and each of these lesson themed boxes will come with a new lesson textbook cover, which will fit one of the first US first edition Harry Potter books. Let's see what they look like together. So, so cool. I can't wait to display these. All right, let's take a look at the cheat sheet, but on this side of the cheat sheet. Oh, nine-sided dice daily, arithmetic chart. All right, so let's grab the die. So now this makes a little bit more sense. This is more like a fun thing to do every day. And it says you may have only one re-roll daily, so use it wisely. And then each of the numbers means something different. So let's give it a roll and see what it means. Number three, creativity, imaginative, and free thinker. I think, let's see the other ones, because I think that is probably one that would best describe me. Number one is leadership, influencer, and authority. Number two is opposites, balance, and extremes. Number four is logical, reasoning, and intelligence. Number five, luck, wealth, good fortune. Six is love, loyalty, and relationships. Seven, we have grief, misfortune, and despair. That's not one we would want. Eight is driven, ambitious, and focused. Sounds like a Slytherin to me. Nine is wisdom, charity, and understanding. And zero is unknowing, unclear, or uncertainty. So that's fun and this makes more sense now. All right, let's take a look at the cheat sheet. So the two lesson themes were otherworldly beasts and arithmacy. Number one is Otherworldly Creatures book cover. This exclusive book cover by Danny at Wizardry Workshop fits the third book of the first American hardback editions. Number two, tree lice. 
This jar of tree lice was bottled for us by Pure Blood Apothecary. Used as a great distraction when procuring wood, great for wands. Leprechaun Gold. This batch of leprechaun gold has been spelled not to disappear, but please do not mistakenly spend it. Flesh-eating slug repellent. This green plant mister should be used on household plants to ensure they are not eaten by any pesky bugs or slugs. A notebook for otherworldly creatures. You can use this notebook to make notes on any and all of the otherworldly creatures you may be studying. Six, magical platypus wooden print. This wooden print was made for us by J.P. Mistlecrow. Number seven, antiqued six-sided arithmacy dice. Use this dice daily to see what your day holds. You may re-roll once daily, but only once. Number eight, negative energy reed diffuser oil. Let us know what arithmacy social sign you receive on your bottle. There are several different variations with the same amazing smell of lemon and vanilla, AKA animal crackers. Number nine and 10, otherworldly beast infograms. These two infograms will fit great inside your new notebook, created by Twillings and Taddings. 11, arithmacy study guide Guide and information sheet. This arithmetic guide was created for us by Danny at Wizardry Workshop. All right, so they are including this as an item. I probably wouldn't have included that as an item. I would maybe put like the die and the information sheet as an item, but that's just me. Skeletal horse paperweight. So this metal thestral is a paperweight. They're quite gentle, really. This piece will make a great addition to any desk or shelf. It's beautiful. I absolutely love this. Today's lesson pin. This sliding pin slides to reveal the creatures in the forest. Very clever pin, love that. All right, let's talk about favorites and least favorites. There are a ton of favorites in here. I'm gonna limit myself to three. I don't think there are three least favorites though. As much as I love the book cover, the flesh eating slug repellent beats the book cover just by a tiny bit to land in my number one spot. Very simple very fun and very creative. Second favorite item, the book cover. It's beautiful. I mean, what else can I say about it? As I mentioned, the blue foiling, that's a nice little change and touch. Man, there are a lot of items here, but I'm gonna have to go with the Thestral as my number three item. So this paperweight, I still don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I love it nonetheless. It'd be cool to use this in some other creative way. So if you have suggestions, let me know in the comments. All right, least favorites. My least favorite item is the oil diffuser, just because I don't use oil diffusers, but the thing is I love the smell. It smells like Fantastic Beasts crackers. My next least favorite item is the wizard gold. I just don't know how it fits. I mean, I guess arithmacy and numbers, um, and maybe I'm missing something, but I don't understand how it fits in this box. What about you guys? What did you like? What did you dislike? Leave a comment down below. I would like to know. All right, the big reveal for the special edition box, which is going to be available on the Wizarding Trunks website, November 25th. So if you're interested in signing up for the special edition subscription, which again is a separate subscription for from what I opened up today, the theme is going to be Hagrid. Now, the special edition Hagrid box will ship in February of 2021. I also want to mention, because the holiday season is coming up, the Wizarding Trunk has a pin advent calendar available on their website. And one of those pins was designed by Danny at Wizardry Workshop, who designed these book covers, and it is an exclusive to the Wizarding Trunk. Information about that down below as well. Now, if you would like to subscribe to their main subscription service, or the special edition subscription service, or purchase the pin advent calendar, I have a coupon code for you, and that is keep collecting 10. So that will save you 10% off of your purchase and subscription. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go? It seriously smells like animal crackers.